If you're looking to explore the Middle East for the first time, Amman, Jordan is the perfect destination. Amman, the modern and ancient capital of Jordan, is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Almost half of Jordan's population is concentrated in Amman. It's often a pit stop on the way to Petra, but there are enough old and new flavors here in Amman to keep you entertained for a weekend. We made our first stop to get some breakfast, and then from there, it was time to visit the Roman Theater. All right, so we just finished having breakfast, and now we're at the Roman Theater. Yes. We're going, we're going to go explore the Roman Theater and show you guys what it looks like. Let's go. Amman's Roman Theater is a 6,000-seat 2nd century Roman Theater, a famous landmark in the Jordanian capital and it dates back to the Roman period when the city was known as Philadelphia and is the highlight for most visitors. It was built on three tiers. The rulers of course sat closest to the action, the military secured the middle section, and the general public perched and squinted from the top rows. So right now I'm talking to one of the officers here that's telling me about this place and as you can see he's on the opposite end of the theater and he's speaking directly into the wall and we could hear each other, correct? Wow, this, I don't know how the hell this works but this is amazing. We're literally talking into the wall. The theater is impressively large and well preserved. The stairs to the top are steep but worth the climb for a view over the theater and the city. Looking down from the top, one could easily sit and feel the history wash over you. Right now, we're at the Roman Theater. Man, this place is amazing. Um, I don't know. It's all this history right here. These are the type of things that you only... You know, we read about these things in school when we were kids, and now we're actually here experiencing it for ourselves. For lovers of photography, this is a good place to visit, especially during the morning or late afternoon hours, as there is excellent natural lighting. The theater is still used periodically for sporting and cultural events. This one in our body. <laughs> Say Roger B. Still. Roger B. Still. One more time. Roger B. Still. <laughs> Roger Bistel. <laughs> All right. After leaving the Roman theater, we headed straight to the Amman Citadel. Jordan has more amazing historical sites than most people realize, and this historic fortress is located on the top of the highest of seven hills on which the city was built. Wow, perfect sun and everything. Of course, this is paradise for anyone who loves history. Even though we only had 30 minutes here, the view one can enjoy from the top is absolutely worth it and the ancient ruins are majestic and unbelievably beautiful. Oh, so beautiful! That's the how... camera can't even capture this. That's, That's a fucking eye I can capture. Really? Yeah. Up next was a visit to the King Abdullah Mosque also known as the Blue Mosque. This splendid mosque is a beauty and hard to miss when driving by. Wow. Oh yeah. Daniil, tell us where we are right now, what we're gonna do. We are at the Blue Mosque, we're getting ready to tour. We have to put on some cool garments and get in. You'll enter through the gift shop, and on arrival, women are given a gown to cover their arms and legs, and headscarves must also be worn. Can you tell us what they're doing right now? They are just dressing for the mosque. Okay. They have to wear the, um, the long cover to cover everything. It has a cap as well, so they can put either the cap or the scarf if they have scarves. Okay, nice. Where are we going, ladies? To the mosque. To the mosque. To the mosque. All 
right. Take our shoes off. Put that our gear. Let's go. All right, let's go. Blue mask. The inside of the mosque is as beautiful as the outside, especially the rings of lamps suspended from the ceiling and the plush carpet. It may not be as grand as some of the more famous mosques in the world, but it certainly has a sense of tranquility and definitely worth a visit. Back downstairs you offer tea and sweets and the salespeople show you around explaining everything that's for sale and their fantastic deals. Okay. What's your name? Farah. Huh? Farah. 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 Yes, it's Farah. Farah. Oh, wow. And try his happiness and oh, joy. Nice. His is Roger. Roger. <laughs> and now what's his name? Roger. 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 Yeah. After a long day of exploring, it was now time to eat. Food is the heartbeat of Amman and its pride and joy. It's almost impossible to have a bad meal while visiting the city. Mm -hmm. There's some people do it better than me, but like okay. I'm, I'm trying to do my best to And then we eat like all right. After dinner, the ladies did some shopping, then we called it a night. No, you're really transformed to that one. <laughs> Fall in love. Fall in love. Roger B met the girls and fall in love. We are at the Dead Sea. Yes, the Dead Sea is the saltiest sea in the world. Mm -hmm. It's eight times it's, yeah, eight or three to eight times more saltier than the ocean. And pretty much you, you could just float by not even trying. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go explore the Dead Sea and show you guys. The Dead Sea is one of the most interesting lakes in the world. Located at the lowest point on earth, tourists from around the globe flock to this hypersaline phenomenon which borders Jordan to the east and Israel and the West Bank to the west. The surface of the Dead Sea is over 1300 feet below sea level. There's no need for flotation devices. Our bodies are more buoyant in the Dead Sea because of the high concentration of mineral salts that has dissolved. The Dead Sea is eight times saltier than the ocean and has the highest concentration of salt of any body of water in the world. So rather than swim, you literally float around. Go America. <laughs> Go America. They're back there floating away in the Dead Sea. They're gonna float back to America. <laughs> Look at this. Almost as famous as the sea itself are the images of tourists slathering mud on their bodies, letting it harden, and then rinsing it off in the sea. The deposits of black mud comes directly from the seabed. The mud is said to be beneficial to your skin as it is high in minerals. But all its healing mud, the Dead Sea is literally the biggest natural free spa on earth.
Uh, tell me about your experience. It's amazing. Completely indescribable. You have to actually be here to truly, truly enjoy it. But it was amazing. No complaints. I will come back and do it again. Strictly for this. Okay. What are you taking this all home? <laughs> I think. For a city smack in the middle of an ancient region, Amman is charmingly modern. You will have plenty of historical sites to explore. This combined with the unique opportunity to see metropolitan life of real Jordanians make Amman a must visit. Thanks for having us Amman. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. Hit the bell because I would love for you to be notified when I upload new videos because YouTube doesn't always like to do that. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys soon. Peace!